wrath of Trump warned ready to descend upon shadow government. A grim new Security Council, South Carolina, report circulating in the Kremlin today is confirming that a Vatican communistic shadow government has now been established in the United States to destroy Freemason leader President Donald Trump before he can retake control of America prior to his world's oldest and largest organization of its kind celebrating its 300th year anniversary on 24 June 2017, but if they fail, the catastrophic wrath of Trump will befall them all, unless World War III starts first. According to this report, one of the main central leaders of this Vatican communistic shadow government is Robert Borisic, whose left-wing campaign for America's future organization is spending hundreds of millions warning U.S. Democratic Party lawmakers not cooperate in any way with Freemason leader President Trump. Important to note about Robert Borisic, this report continues, is that even though his campaign for America's future organization refuses to disclose its donors, his intentions to destroy America have long been known and include his founding, in 1974, the Center for National Security Studies, CNSS, to compromise the effectiveness of U.S. intelligence agencies, his becoming a director, in 1979, of America's oldest left-wing think tank called the Institute for Policy Studies, IPS, that has long supported communist and anti-American causes around the world, and who, in 1982, was a part of an IPS-sponsored group that visited Moscow to meet with high-level Soviet officials who were responsible for disseminating disinformation and propaganda for American consumption. To how Robert Borisic and his Vatican communistic allies have constituted this shadow government to destroy Freemason leader President Trump, this report explains, is through the subversion of the U.S. federal bureaucracy whose workers are now being ordered by their masters not to cooperate with the Trump administration and who are, also, now communicating, in violation of U.S. public record-keeping laws, via encrypted messages. To how thoroughly the U.S. federal bureaucracy, where fully 95 percent of whom, FROM 14 federal agencies, donated to Hillary Clinton has been subverted by these Vatican communistic forces, this report says, is evident by reports coming from the Pentagon that Freemason leader President Trump is be sabotaged and numerous resistance page Twitter feeds being created at Alchisipa, at Aktualepa Fax, at Rogdod, at Birolk, etc. that now have more than 200,000 U.S. federal bureaucracy followers and who are now calling themselves part of the resistance. As to how exactly the resistance is planning on destroying Freemason leader President Trump, this report grimly notes, has been revealed by another of these Vatican communistic shadow government leaders named Rosa Brooks, who served as counselor to the Under Secretary of Defense for Policy from 2009 to 2011 and as a senior advisor in the State Department, and has stated that their first action plan is to order Vice President Mike Pence to declare Trump mentally ill, and if that fails, to order a U.S. military coup to overthrow the entire United States government. Important to note about Rosa Brooks, this report continues, is that she is being funded by one of the Vatican communistic shadow government masterminds named George Soros, and whom the Security Council has previously revealed is a self-acknowledged Nazi collaborator who made his fortune by stealing the property of Jews prior to their being exterminated during World War II, and who, also, is spending hundreds of millions in this bid to destroy Freemason leader President Trump by flooding the streets of America with pathological mindless idiots in a tactic first used by German psychological intelligence operatives loyal to Adolf Hitler. As tens of thousands of American Catholics are now pleading with Freemason leader President Trump to save them from the Vatican's alliance with this shadow government, this report further notes, diplomatic cables from Rome today are showing that Pope Francis has been completely successful in his destroying the Order of Malta, Knights of Malta, for their supporting of Trump, thus leaving the pontiff's evil and feared Jesuit order, Society of Jesus, firmly in control and that the Security Council has, likewise, gravely warned about by stating,
with Pope Francis being the first Jesuit, Society of Jesus, leader of the Catholic Church in all of history, the reason this ancient order was not allowed to have one of its members become pontiff is due to their radical global agenda for the 21st century, and that includes 1. Economic communism and political fascism in the American Empire 2. Creating international anti-Jewish fury 3. Creating international anti-Americanism 4. Depression, anarchy, race war, martial law, foreign war and invasion 5. Destruction of the empire's heretic Protestants, Baptists, and Jews as well as liberals in the Freemasons' last bid to keep the horrors that are coming from becoming reality, this report continues, then Freemason leader Trump, in 2014, dispatched one of his top Masonic brothers named Steve Bannon who is now called the world's second most powerful man to the Vatican, where he warned Pope Francis and these communist coup plotters of what was coming if they didn't back down by stating, the middle class, the working men and women in the world dot 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 are just tired of being dictated to by what we call the party of Davos, globalists. Dot dot and there is a major war brewing, a war that's already global, and every day that we refuse to look at this as what it is, and the scale of it, and really the viciousness of it, will be a day where you will rue that we didn't act, and with this vast Vatican communistic shadow government now seeming to be more in control of American than Freemason leader President Trump, this report grimly warns, World War III is now at the very doorstep of the motherland, Russia, as US EU created Nazi Ukrainian military forces are now flooding into the heavy weapons free areas of this conflict zone, and that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, MOFA, is stating is a clear violation of the Geneva Convention as these Ukrainian Nazi forces are shelling civilian areas in eastern Ukraine and using weapon systems banned under the terms of the Minsk peace deal. But, and as always, this report continues, the Western mainstream fake news media loyal to this Vatican communistic shadow government is shockingly blaming Russia for these Ukrainian Nazi military actions with NATO issuing a dire warning to the Federation to stop something it isn't even doing, and is acknowledged by the world's largest private intelligence agency, Stratfor, the shadow CIAA, who warns that Nazi Ukraine's actions are designed to keep the United States from closer relations with Russia, and who are fully prepared to start World War III in order to accomplish it. And in replying to these nonsensical claims of Russian aggression in Ukraine, this report notes, Federation Ambassador to the United Nations Vitaly Cherkin correctly replied with the truth by stating, Any serious intensification of hostilities in Donbas miraculously coincides with foreign visits of the Ukrainian leadership. Apparently, this is how Kiev expects to keep the crisis that it had provoked on the international agenda. And, of course, the Ukrainian leadership needs money today that can easily wheedle out of the European Union, some European nations, the United States and international financial institutions, when they pretend to be a victim of aggression. Instead of searching sensible compromises to end the conflict, Kiev is pressing for a military solution. To the fullest desired wished for outcome a Vatican communistic shadow government launching their Ukrainian Nazi forces against the innocent Russian civilians of their nation, Security Council analysts in this report state, is their hope in that, when Federation military forces intervene to stop this genocide from occurring, Freemason leader President Trump will be forced to either start World War III or be overthrown as mentally unfit because he's too Russian friendly. In his knowing what is being plotted against him by this Vatican communistic shadow government, however, this report warns, Freemason leader President Trump and his aligned U.S. military forces are, instead, preparing to unleash war on Iran, which if able to occur before the Federation has to engage in conflict with Ukrainian Nazi forces, will stop World War III as the American people will not allow two wars to occur at the same time. 
and should Freemason leader President Trump survive this war against this Vatican communistic shadow government plotting his destruction, this report notes, he is preparing to unleash upon all of these plotters, the left-wing media, the resistance, their mindless street mobs, and, most especially, their leaders, one of the most feared U.S. laws ever created called 18 U.S. Code 2385, advocating an overthrow of government that Schilling says whoever knowingly or willfully advocates, abets, advises, or teaches the duty, necessity, desirability, or propriety of overthrowing or destroying the government of the United States, or the government of any state, territory, district, or possession thereof, or the government of any political subdivision therein, by force or violence, or by the assassination of any officer of any such government, or whoever, with intent to cause the overthrow or destruction of any such government, prints, publishes, edits, issues, circulates, sells, distributes, or publicly displays any written or printed matter advocating, advising, or teaching the duty, necessity, desirability, or propriety of overthrowing or destroying any government in the United States by force or violence, or attempts to do so, or whoever organizes, or helps or attempts to organize any society, group, or assembly of persons who teach, advocate, or encourage the overthrow or destruction of any such government by force or violence, or becomes or is a member of, or affiliates with, any such society, group, or assembly of persons, knowing the purposes thereof, shall be fined under this title, or imprisoned not more than twenty years, or both and shall be ineligible for employment by the United States, or any department or agency thereof, for the five years next following his conviction. If two or more persons conspire to commit any offense named in this section, each shall be fined under this title, or imprisoned not more than twenty years, or both, and shall be ineligible for employment by the United States, or any department or agency thereof, for the five years next following his conviction. As used in this section, the terms organizes and organize, with respect to any society, group, or assembly of persons, include the recruiting of new members, the forming of new units, and the regrouping or expansion of existing clubs, classes, and other units of such society, group, or assembly of persons. With Freemason leader President Trump's enemies being oblivious of this law that they will soon be prosecuted under, this report concludes, these mindless idiots are, also, ignorant about the smoke cloud he has created about illegals, which has nothing whatsoever to do with building a wall, but everything to do with the vast detention camps and prisons he's been creating since he first took office to put all of his enemies into, the first, most likely, being the leftist communist Berkeley, California. Mayor Jesse Aragon who is now being investigated by the FBI for ordering police forces to stand down while anti-Trump riots raged in his city this past week, and, most assuredly, an American leftist celebrity comedian actress named Sarah Silverman who in a stupefying tweet, and in violation of 18 U.S. Code 2385, advocating overthrow of government, let elite Hollywood leftist elites in a call for a coup to oust Mad King Donald. Trump. From our 21 January report, that we believe is worth your remembering. Special message from Sister Sowers. Though age has dimmed my eyesight, it has not affected my mind, and as a young 18 year old year novice in 1936, I remember well my distributing our sorts of all pamphlets in my small German village of Remage in warning of the strange and satanic rituals being performed by many of our military and political leaders. No one would believe such outlandish things as they were impossible to imagine, just like this report is, and the others below are too. So please let me advise you that just because a thing is too astonishing to believe, it does not make it untrue. My country learned this lesson much too late, yours doesn't have to. Thanks you for watching, please subscribe 24 Hours News Channel, goodbye and see you again.